Trust me when I say that the Vision Pro is way darker than you can possibly imagine, but not for the reasons that you might think. The product itself is genius. The release of Apple's Vision Pro marks an inflection point for virtual and augmented reality, because Apple's Vision Pro has been described by all of those who've tried it as feeling like literal magic. But the first thing you have to do is calibrate your eyes, and there's a short calibration session, it's about turns out two minutes and you're in. And this is where the magic happens. So basically, the eye tracking in this headset as it looks at your eyes and keeps track of where your eyes move around is the closest thing that I've experienced to like magic. Like I don't, I normally don't call tech things sort of magical or surreal like this, but this was, even for a pre-release product, Kind of unbelievable how well it does. Immediately after its release, Apple's YouTube video on the Vision Pro achieved 20 million views in a day. Everything on trending was about the Vision Pro. Twitter was packed with supporters drooling over Apple's latest gadgets, with influencers like Casey Neistat even claiming that he wants a Vision Pro for everyone in his house, including the dog, adding that the Vision Pro is the answer for his kids. And it's not just him. Every big influencer and media personality is licking their lips at the prospect of the Vision Pro, because on the surface, it does seem perfect. Anyone anywhere can live inside their own digital universe mixed with their current reality. As soon as you put the headset on, your grey, empty, dull existence turns colourful, bright and hopeful as you plug yourself into the Appleverse, a place where you can meet new friends, work anywhere you want, do business, sell anything you want, go to different countries, catch up with your family instantly, travel across dimensions, do everything you've ever dreamed of. You no longer need to bend down, crank your neck over some small iPhone or laptop. Now you can sit down at the family table, looking at your family straight in the eye, or while watching Family Guy clips with subway surfers, or have any other distraction to ensure that there is never a moment in your life with any boredom. Apple sees this as the first true step into making the world that of Ready Player One, to the point that the actual Vision Pro video starting shot is exactly the same as the shot from Ready Player One. All of this is the result of Apple's decade-long ambition to make augmented reality technology. Even back in the Steve Jobs days, he discussed the insane difficulty of making the Vision Pro. You know, the, the, the fundamental problem here is that headphones are a miraculous thing. You put on a pair of headphones and you get the same experience you get with a great pair of speakers, right? There's no such thing as headphones for video, right? There's, no, there's not something I can carry with me that I can put on and it gives me the same experience I get when I'm watching my, you know, 50-inch plasma display at home. And, you know, until somebody invents that, you're going to have these opposing constraints. But there was one strange thing that happened during the announcement of the Vision Pro that really stuck with me. You see, unlike any other Apple announcement, the Apple CEO Tim Cook never even used the Vision Pro. Whilst this is a small detail, it's something that has never been done before in Apple history. The CEO of Apple always uses the product as they announce it to the public. So why did Tim Cook never use the Vision Pro? Well, this question led me to start questioning a bunch of other things about the Vision Pro. Questions like, is this product ever actually going to be mainstream? I mean, Tim Cook won't even use it in the presentation, and when Apple revealed the price of the Vision Pro, there were audible gasps in the audience. Apple Vision Pro starts at $34.99. It will be available early next year on Apple.com. And yet Apple and everyone you see in the media and online is claiming that the Vision Pro will be the new iPhone. But at this crazy price point of $3,500, surely no one can afford this kind of product with no utility. It just seems like some gimmicky product like an expensive Apple Watch, right? Well, that is what Mark Zuckerberg thinks. Upon the announcement of the Vision Pro, Zuckerberg recently claimed Apple went with a high resolution display. And between that and all the technology they put in there to power it, it costs seven times more and requires so much energy that you now need a battery and a wire attached to use it. He went on to say, the announcement really showcases the different values and vision that our companies bring to this in a way that I think is really important. However, at the end, he noticeably remarked, we being Meta, innovate to make sure that our products are as accessible and affordable to everyone as possible. And that's a core part of what we do. And we have sold tens of millions of quests. Curious to see what they'd ship. And it's a good sign for our own development that they don't have any magical solutions to the laws of physics that we haven't already explored. With Zuckerberg implying that the Vision Pro is nothing more than exclusive products for a select few, far from a mainstream product. But after really digging deep into the Vision Pro and Apple's future plans, I stumbled upon new groundbreaking information that terrified me. And that's when I came to the conclusion that I do think that the Vision Pro is almost certainly going to be a mainstream product. And that's why I want to show you Apple's true plan to make the Vision Pro a mainstream product, and what the future of the Vision Pro will look like when it's mixed with AI and Neuralink, or even what this will look like in authoritarian regimes like China, where Apple already works actively with the CCP to censor and block anything the Chinese government doesn't like. And even in the West, where Apple 
Apple has been caught spying on all of our iPhone photos. What will this look like for the Vision Pro? Well, trust me, as I tried to answer these questions, things took a very dark turn. Because when you pull the veil back on the Vision Pro, it's incredibly nasty. But to understand the full reasons why, we need to begin with a simple question. How on earth will Apple make the Vision Pro mainstream? And what is Zuckerberg wrong about? Why will the Vision Pro take over the metaverse? Well, for starters, it's already happening, as the Vision Pro has accomplished what Meta always failed to. You see, the metaverse failed to provide an immersive, all-encompassing, addictive experience. We've all seen these images of this terrible Zuckerberg metaverse, where the graphics are awful, and there's nothing to do and no reason to even join it. And this is why the metaverse failed to attract investors and companies inside of its virtual reality, with the Wall Street Journal reporting that the metaverse's real estate prices decreased by 90%. In addition, companies like Disney discontinued any involvement with the metaverse, after suggesting that the metaverse wasn't going to bring about the virtual reality dream of Silicon Valley. While the Vision Pro provides all the iOS apps that Apple's gigantic user base already loves, pushing the iPhone and MacBook experience into a seamless augmented lifelike reality. And this is in addition to high quality brand partnerships all moving away from the metaverse and instead joining the Vision Pro. With even Disney CEO Bob Iger saying, quote, we believe that Apple Vision Pro is a revolutionary platform that can make our vision a reality. But more importantly, the Vision Pro offers technology that you just can't find anywhere else in the market. Since at least 2016 and possibly as early as 2015, Apple has been working on both the hardware and software in a dedicated division called the Technology Development Group, where Apple went on a hiring spree, recruiting VR and AR experts and acquiring all the relevant companies needed to fulfill their vision of an Apple virtual reality utopia, to the point that there were over 5,000 patents and extremely top secret technical knowledge that has been accumulated over almost nine years, allowing Apple to create a device with a similar impact to the first iPhone. But still, even with a revolutionary product design, how on earth are people going to buy into Apple's virtual reality dream? It seems so ridiculous from afar, but when you go into the details, it doesn't seem too far away. Because in a very short amount of time, we're going to see Apple go about its usual cycle for new products. First, they're going to release pre-orders to gauge demand, manage their initial inventory, and give the Vision Pro a sense of exclusivity. And by the next few months, they'll have estimated how many people are willing to plug into the Apple matrix. From there, Apple may very well opt for a limited market availability for the Vision Pro. However, this would only be for the initial release phase, as this enables Apple to control the supply chain and ensure a smooth rollout while also making their products seem exclusive and high quality, a product only a lucky few will have the privilege to plug into. But then this leads on to the crucial point, turning a $3,500 device into a mainstream product. And this is where things will start to take off. You see, in 2024, Apple is undoubtedly going to be releasing a bunch of marketing videos, making it feel as though the Vision Pro will make everything in your own life better, solving the loneliness, the depression, the isolation, the boredom, the depression of your normal life. And then leveraging their strong brand presence, Apple will likely get your favorite celebrities and influencers to induce you into thinking it's actually better to be in the Vision Pro reality than your normal reality, allowing this soft, high quality new reality to emerge out of your depressing reality, where all your past problems gradually fades away. Because when you put on the Vision Pro headset, your real world dissolves. All the depression, pain, loneliness, and isolation that your current life has will slowly just dissolve. As you transcend your lonely, dark flat, as you enter the Vision Pro, you'll be shown various people, cultures, and locations, exposed to the most pleasure that you can possibly imagine, combining the real world and digital world together. One of the key features that Tim Cook repeatedly mentioned during the presentation for the Vision Pro. And because of this all-encompassing experience, this will lead to buzz across the world. People won't believe what they're seeing. It will feel as many claim today like magic. And so your average Joe will want to feel normal, to keep up to date, to fit in, to keep up with the Joneses. Or to have the same advantages as your peers, you will feel an inherent need to tune into the Vision Pro, as all your friends, community, religious groups, celebrities, businesses, and shops all start to operate within it. Just as we've seen with iPhones, MacBooks, and social media, and once you experience the Vision Pro inside of an Apple shop, once you pop, you just won't stop. And this is what Silicon Valley is betting on. They want the edge of your curiosity. They want you to beg to see what your life will be like in the virtual world, how much better your life will be, how the person that you've always wanted to be, your destiny is just awaiting you in the Vision Pro. Apple will cater to all of your demands. And once all of this buzz, all of this variety for the Vision Pro takes off, they will then make the product substantially cheaper with a non-pro version of the product. But then even still, the most likely price of the non-pro version of Apple's Vision will still likely be around 
around $2,000 at least. So why would anyone use this instead of a MacBook or iPhone, which offer everything you need at a massively discounted price? Well, as I mentioned, the Vision Pro has quite obviously had a bunch of development, and it has been meticulously crafted to deliver unparalleled augmented reality experiences. With a wide field of view and dedicated sensors, almost everyone admits that it excels in tracking and interacting with the real world. Unlike the MacBook or iPhone, the Vision Pro ensures that you have a more engaging, more addictive, interactive experience with the online world, blurring the boundaries between the digital and physical realms, all while being a hands-free experience. You don't need to be crouched down on a bus, you don't need to be anywhere. You can just be sitting in your bed or on the couch, and the Vision Pro allows you to effortlessly engage with virtual content, or whilst maintaining focus on your surroundings. You could literally be walking in the woods, all while being in a serious work call. And because of their spatial audio technology, all the movies, videos, and games that you play will have a more realistic and immersive environment. The MacBook and iPhone just can't give you any sense of the spatial audio immersion, as this audio immersion takes you into a completely different world, making the overall experience more addictive than anything you could possibly imagine, truly immersing you in a world that you've never seen before, all while providing more powerful processing capabilities than the iPhone or Mac can even dream of. And so there is one final question here. Why would people continually stay in the Vision Pro world? Well, once it's gone mainstream, once everyone starts adopting the Vision Pro and all the facsimiles of it, how do you get people to stay in this world? Well, the Vision Pro, without a doubt, will make you feel incredible. Because after every Vision Pro game you play, after every Vision Pro friend you meet, after every 3D interactive movie you watch, after all of your best memories play right in front of you, there will be a rush of dopamine saturating your brain. You'll never want to leave. You can be what you want, when you want, and do what you want. And slowly you'll start to repeat the cycle every single day of the week. Just like all of your friends, neighbors, and family. You'll be able to jump into the Vision Pro universe, go to work in the Vision Pro universe, meet friends in the Vision Pro universe, play games in the Vision Pro universe, party in the Vision Pro universe, and even find love in the Vision Pro universe. And when the cycle happens, more and more people will plug into it out of the fear of missing out. Just like everyone's already jumped into social media and iPhones for fears of being left out of the tribe. I mean, without access to a smartphone or computer, you're left out of the work environment, businesses, relationships, friendships, everything. And so to break away from this technology, whether it's the Vision Pro or the MetaQuest, will eventually become almost impossible. And this is where the real dangers begin. I mean, augmented reality by itself has a lot of massive problems, but that's not even considering how it's going to interact with AI and other advances. We've already seen how good AI is getting at creating flat images and artwork. Programs like OpenAI's DALI 2 can create intricate and realistic images in seconds. But there's no reason that these algorithms can't be applied to 3D objects projected through augmented reality with tools like the Vision Pro. And as these two technologies improve together, we'll see AI created environments and objects generated and displayed entirely within augmented reality. Running from a few simple prompts, we'll be able to create entirely unique, constantly changing virtual worlds. Sufficiently advanced AI will even be able to create characters and people, giving them their own personalities and Appearance, to the point that there's going to be AI people walking around your environment and you most likely won't even know if it's real anymore. And augmented reality based AIs will be able to react to your own movements and inputs, creating a truly interactive world that responds to the subjects like nothing we've ever seen before. And later down the line, neural implants will break the final barrier between the real and the virtual, with brain chips like Neuralink making this a very possible reality in the next decade. Which means something like the Vision Pro will eventually respond and adapt to your thoughts and feelings in real time time. And all of this opens the doors to massive possibilities. On the one hand, we could create a paradise, a world perfectly designed based on your innermost thoughts and desires. However, the opposite is much more likely, because this lays out the path for the perfect authoritarian government to have more control than they've ever dreamed of. I mean, China has already shown that they're willing to exploit any new technology to subjugate their own people. Just look at their infamous social credit system that they're rolling out throughout China, where they rank you based on your actions, tracking everything you do, using their hundreds of millions of facial recognition cameras, and using augmented reality reality, they could then insert propaganda directly into your perception. And of course, enemies of the state would become more grotesque and ugly. They would be outcasted, blocked from people. You won't be able to see them. Whilst patriots will look more ideal and beautiful, they'll have a range of gifts, a range of opportunities in the virtual world. But more subtly, little information, tidbits and notifications in the corner of your eye would help government doctrine infiltrate every single part of life. Because for propaganda, it's not about the direct messages that you think about. Instead, it's about the unconscious normalization of party doctrine and thoughts. And 
And don't just think this is going to happen in China and Russia. This will happen everywhere. I mean, as I've already mentioned, Apple has let the FBI have access to any iPhone they want in America. And in addition, Apple is very willing to work with authoritarian governments to censor anything that the government doesn't like. With iPhones everywhere already tracking every image in your photo albums. But trust me, it gets even crazier. Because in the UK alone, secretive government agencies like the Counter Disinformation Unit and the Nudge Unit have already infiltrated TV shows and changed the scripts for shows like Coronation Street, all to promote government messages. With the Counter Disinformation Unit specifically working with big tech companies like Apple to curtail any discussion of lockdown policies. Let alone what else? And this is all according to the Telegraph. But what's even worse is that there's no pushback at all against this stuff. So why would any government or corporation like Apple stop there? I mean, this was shown with a survey conducted by the Cato Institute, who asked 18 to 29 year olds whether they would support or oppose the government installing surveillance cameras in every household as a means to reduce domestic violence, abuse, and other illegal activities. In other words, 24 7 constant observation in your own house by the government. And the results were terrifying. Nearly one in three said this was a good idea. Yes, almost one in three people want the government to watch everything that you do in your own home. And of course, it would be logistically impossible for humans to monitor every single person. But with something like the Vision Pro, in conjunction with artificial intelligence, and this provides the perfect tools for such actions. Certain movement patterns, behaviors, or keywords would trigger alerts, effectively keeping you always in check. Using the triple threat of AI, augmented reality, and eventually neural implants like Neuralink. So we already know how governments and other corporations are going to benefit from this. But the key question is, how will Apple actually profit from all of this? Well, with a price tag of $3,500, it seems obvious. In just manufacturing costs alone, the Vision Pro costs at least $1,500 to make. This isn't even including the enormous research and development costs that were involved in developing the Vision Pro in the first place. With over nine years of research, a whole new Apple division, and over 5,000 patents, this is a piece of computing the world has never seen before. And because of this, it costs an enormous price. So then that begs the question, knowing Apple, where is the real profit from the Vision Pro coming from? This isn't a charity. Well, you see, Apple was putting their foot in the door to control the virtual reality space. As the metaverse falls into the distance, Apple wants to be the key player in the augmented reality space. Because if they're the top player in the virtual reality economy, then they will have far more control over the way people receive information about the world. And this is incredibly profitable. We've already seen this just through social media. As we all know, Facebook, Reddit, TikTok, Twitter all create the most addictive product possible so that they can have your attention in time. Because this allows them to enact the largest data harvesting scheme in the world. But the Vision Pro goes a step beyond this. Because with augmented reality and AI, how you see the world around you will be decided by Apple. Just like social media, people will then be put into groups by the algorithm based on what they like in their personality. Then they'll be shown the same things as other people in that group. And whilst this is great for advertising and data harvesting, this is inadvertently going to deepen the divides between different groups of people as they start literally seeing the world in different ways. And as the world's political tensions rise, this will only work to further catalyze these tensions, letting the digital world infringe upon your perception of other issues. And then what happens if a malicious party spreads viruses that infect AR systems? People then could be deluded into seeing fake objects, misleading information, and even fake people in their day-to-day -day lives. Small changes to your perception of other people's faces can make someone more paranoid or depressed, for example, only worsening the mental health epidemic we're already wallowing in. Because if everyone looks slightly disgusted or closed off around you, this will have an awful effect. Your self-esteem will be diminished. And then this will make you more lonely, more isolated. All the things that you're trying to escape with the Vision Pro will only make these things worse. And this is probably one of the most likely results of augmented reality. Reports on loneliness compare its health effects to smoking 15 cigarettes every day. And young people in particular spend less and less time around their friends as they become more and more absorbed on the online world. And of course, augmented reality and AI will step in to provide a solution. That's the selling point of the Vision Pro, giving people new fake virtual friends. They'll temporarily help, but they'll never really fill the hole that real human interaction can. But it's only when you take off the headset and look around you, do you realize you're a lab rat. And this is when everything becomes worse. As the dawning realization hits you, you haven't achieved anything. You're alone. You're empty inside. You haven't made any progress towards your goals. You were just tricked into thinking that you did. You were tricked into thinking that these virtual people were your friends. And so the temporary help of the Vision Pro becomes the solution to your worsening living situation. And as the loneliness in your real life grows with your addiction to the Vision Pro, there'll be nowhere else to go but the Vision Pro. And all of this is in the interest of the companies behind augmented reality. Because as our loneliness epidemic worsens, more and more people will be driven towards alternative solutions like augmented reality. And because these only work for a time, you'll be addicted to them through the same neurological mechanisms that make us crave real social contact. It's a negative loop, but a source of never-ending profits for them. 
And that's why eventually there will be gamified microtransactions all over the Vision Pro. One day our actual clothes and appearance will be replaced by AR avatars. Companies could sell customization options, which don't really cost them anything through loot boxes and other predatory tactics. Instead of going to the shop to try on clothes, you try it in the Vision Pro. Augmented simulated relationships will become even more popular in this lonely future. AI girlfriends, even in their severely limited state right now, are already taking off. One of the most popular intimate AI companion apps, Replica, has amassed over 7 million users as of 2022. Aided by virtual avatars and realistic personalities, real people are getting attached to these things because they are so deeply lonely. And just imagine what this would look like in the Vision Pro when it's actually in your reality. And if it's not clear already, this is a goldmine for tech companies. This is why everyone in Silicon Valley is pushing it. And whilst the Vision Pro may be laughable in a lot of ways, it is a calculated risk. And the sooner they push this technology into the mainstream, the sooner they can unlock these limitless profits. If you want more details on this and other similar topics, I have a newsletter here where I send weekly solutions to modern life, using a broad range of philosophers and experts' ideas made simple for you. It's completely free, and I promise you that within each essay, there are real unique solutions that you can apply to your own life. Not just some modern day BS answers, I'm talking about the smartest philosophers throughout history, making their work simple and applicable for your own life. I've put a link in the description below.